Hey everybody, it's David from David Christopher's. I am standing in our retail store and we are about to decorate a Christmas tree. Well, I'm about to decorate a Christmas tree. It is late in the evening and everyone from the store is gone, including Jen. She is at home with her kids, so I'm gonna do the best I can with my camera and my tree and we're hopefully gonna show you our boho chic theme. I'm going to show you the items that I'm putting on the tree. And I'm probably gonna do it a little bit different than I did at market, so hopefully it's a little bit of a different twist and something new. And I hope that you can tell, maybe not, it's a little bit harder from inside of our tent. This is our gypsy tent, our boho chic tent. We wanted to create something a little bit unique for our boho chic theme this year uh, inside of our store. So this is a nice draped um, tent that's made out of muslin fabric and uh, hopefully it gives a nice effect to everything that is around it. It does definitely give a nice glow to our tree for sure. You get that nice cream color coming from the tree and the lights and the muslin is also a cream color so it works really well together but we're going to be adding pinks and champagnes. Uh, we're going to be adding a little bit of like a mint green so uh, stay tuned hopefully this works really well and jen can do something with it if not it's probably my fault <laughs> take 37 i need jen here so <laughs> i'm struggling with my words my motions i don't really know what to do with my hands while i'm talking i only know what to do with them while i'm decorating christmas trees i'm gonna get to that First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place some birch branches in this tree and I know that may seem counterintuitive and they are a little more brown than I would have wanted but I need some substantial structure to hold some ornaments away from the tree. I'm going to use birch branches and I'm going to cover them up. Next, I'm going to add some of this metallic mixed. It's like uh, pink and metallic, and some are just kind of a champagne metallic with a little rose gold on the edge. This ginkgo leaf that's nice and wired, uh, and I'm going to start layering those really close to my birch branches. On to a little bit of glitter. Flush pinkish sorghum, kind of like millet. Terracotta Proteus. Shatterproof, pearl finished, blush colored, 140, 150 millimeter, about 150, six inch. Um, about a half dozen of these. Pompous grass, kind of a grassy pompous grass in a pink color. Hundred millimeter or four inch shatterproof pearl pink blush blush. Lightly, lightly metallic gilded hydrangeas. Just a little hint of some glitter and metallic here and there. 
And these are kind of a creamy, peachy, corally color. A few blush pink poinsettias. A few of these wild pompous style grass. This has a little like a natural leaf on it, but these uh, pompous blooms can be bent because they're artificial, which I love because then I can bend them exactly the way I want them. Um, they're super tall. I used them for the top of the tree at market, but I don't have a whole lot of room at the top of this tree. So we're gonna stick them in a little deeper. These awesome, very dried style. They're little crinkly roses. Gonna put a few on there. Metallic magnolias in this really nice kind of a rose gold blush with these sequins in it. It's got that champagne color underneath. So the backside is a different color fabric, so I do recommend sticking these pretty deep in the tree. And I know you probably think I'm done with flowers, but uh, if metallic magnolias are not your thing, we've still got you covered. Part of that minty colored green I was telling you about, just a little hint of it. This is kind of a bleached Norfolk pine spray that's um, kind of like it's been dried and it's got just a little bit of that green in it. Apparently I used most of these at our showroom, so I'm gonna have to cut a garland to mimic some stems. I know that you're thinking, what about ornaments? There's so much floral in tree. What is a boho chic theme? So there's gonna be a lot of floral, but we do have to add some ornaments as well. These are glass, slightly curved. Love these glass reflector ornaments. Also in mint green. It's like they spell your name. It's insane. Now we're back here once again. Holidays and cheer. But now I got my eye. A few blush glass stars. Little diamond.
pale blush. These almost have like a champagne tint to them with just a hint of pink. This is a mercury glass. So these are pretty durable. things we're gonna add butterflies I know that's what you were thinking what would a boho tree be without butterflies probably still a boho tree but we're gonna add some butterflies anyway I'm tired I'm ready to go home I'm gonna add this cranberry colored seeded eucalyptus and be done One boho chic tree, pretty much accomplished. Not that I won't add something or more lighter when it comes in. I think we're pretty much finished. I'm gonna give you guys a close up and let you see the tent. And I'm out, I'm gonna go home, tuck myself into bed. Who am I kidding? I'm gonna stay up doing design work for next year's Christmas because that's the season I'm in, in September and maybe do a few spreadsheets. So I promised you guys a picture of the tent. Thanks Paige for hanging all this fabric. It's great. And we've got our arches outside and kind of an entryway with some fabric hanging where you can see the tree and I've added a cream chair. And I'll add, uh, you know, stuff down at the bottom, tree skirt, presents, that kind of thing, so that people can sit in the chair and photo op. Hopefully that's the, that's what's gonna happen, is people enjoy taking pictures in this space. And then you can see we've got the, we've got some chandeliers hanging in here. There's another one. And merchandising a little bit. We do want to sell some things occasionally. But this is our boho tree up close. Just a little hint of that mint green. You can add more if you choose, but it's not necessary. And for all of you who are always going, I wish I worked at the store, look at that mess. Yeah. And I'm going to leave that tonight because I'm tired. It's late, very late. And I'll come in in the morning and possibly clean it up. If not, look, I left my drill there. If not, uh, some of the girls that work here will have to clean it up and before we open and I'll move on to a new tree.